Hello YouTube. So I saw a user out there on the internet was having trouble on figuring out people were telling, hey, he looks he's having trouble homing his uh printer and people were saying, Hey, you really need to check your Z stop, see if it's working and he was trying and he was having a hard time, so I thought I'd make this video to show people uh, what I feel is an easy way to check out your um your end stops. So as you can see I have the printer off and uh, let's just say that I suspected my um, X end stop is not working um, and you usually see that if you try to do a home position and it's uh, you know everything else is working maybe Z is working Y is working but X is just doing its own thing or in his case he's trying to print and it was printing off to the side in a weird spot and uh, anyway so this is a scenario maybe you thought maybe one of your position switches off not working so what I did is the power's off I gently moved the head over um, away from the steps uh, stop switch I want to check in this case here I'll zoom in on it I'm gonna pretend this is the one I want to um, check out and you want to move your stepper motor slow with the uh, power off because you can actually induce voltage back into your um, motherboard and such by moving things quickly it actually becomes like a generator sometimes um, so it's, and it's just not good for it to be slamming around so don't move them fast move them gentle and slow um, so at this point I'm just gonna turn on the printer I'm just gonna turn on my power strip and I'm gonna um, zoom into the screen for you here so you can kinda see what's going on and hopefully that's a good spot and so the printer says it's ready I'm trying to get the buttons in there and so I'm gonna go to my main just push my center button to get to the menu I'm gonna go to position and then I'm going to go to um, in this case we'll just say uh, I'm just gonna take the first one X position fast it really doesn't matter if you use just regular position or X fast you go in there and it says minimum and stop off and so all I'm gonna do I'll show you um, what I'm gonna do here and then I'll let you watch the screen so I'm just gonna reach over and, and activate the end switch and so when while you're doing that I'll do it again but I'll let you watch the screen and see what happens so it says it says off I'm just gonna reach over and click it I'm holding it down and it turns to on then I let go and it turns to off and if you can do that that means you're that tells me that that stop switch right there is uh, working so what you want to do is uh, any one of the three you got the Y in the back and then the Z is harder to do but basically you got to get the the printer off the end stop and then you can do that just go into position and manually uh, check it to see if it switches back for you um, I guess the only other thing you want to watch out for is if you ever choose to move your printer parts while it's powered on you want to make sure you go in your menu go to quick settings Oops. and then you want to go to down to the bottom setting and you want to disable steppers and oftentimes, and you want to go back to your main menu. See there, it did not disable the steppers. Oops. Because um, I've found that. So you would not want to move this around. I wouldn't trust it because it's probably energized because it doesn't say disabled steppers. I've noticed for some reason, and that's some kind of firmware thing, um, you tend to have to home first. After you home all, then you're allowed to disable the stepper motors. But if you have an end stop problems, that might not be a safe thing to do because you might hit the glass and stuff. So, um, I guess what I'm mumbling is, before you move your power, your uh, parts around while it's powered up, you want to make sure you disable stepper motors the way I did, and make sure the main menu says disabled stepper motors. I'll show you one more time now that I've homed it. I'm gonna go main menu. Or, I'm sorry, quick menu and just go down to disable stepper motors 
and you can hear it disabled but you should still go back and check and there you see now it says disable stepper motors I could move my I could move my parts around by hand if I wanted to and if you're not sure just turn the printer off them and don't say same rules apply you want to move everything slow so you don't generate back current um, anyways I hope this helps somebody out out there and if you like it give me a thumbs up if you subscribe you'll see more helpful videos as they come out thank you